Welcome to the Women in Leadership Body and Mind, Soul and Business Podcast. I'm Charlie. And I'm Heather. Together, we are working to connect women in leadership and business to build relationships and empower each other, improving the health and wellness of the community, body, mind, and soul, sharing the heart and soul of who we are and what we do. Today's guest is a true inspiration, helping us learn and grow and coaching us through our own questioning and here to help you do the same from New View Empowerment Coaching. Back with us today, the incredible Joan Thorson. Hello. Thank you. That was very nice. (laughs) So Joan, uh, just a quick review on your business, who Mm -hmm. you are, what you do. So yeah, I'm Joan, uh, New View Empowerment Coaching. Uh, It's a brand new business to me and the world. Um, so coaching people, I don't coach specific folks, anybody, um, anyone who is stuck wondering what the next step is, how do I get from here to there and doing it quickly, efficiently. Um, I love coaching because it's all inside the Mm -hmm. coachee. I don't have to come up with, I will not come up with advice. This is not, that's not my job. Uh, but getting what you already know out of you is what my job is. So it's been fabulous. I am um, now I'm up to eight clients. Mm-hmm. So I think 10 is about capacity for me mm-hmm. with my, it's very part-time, but yeah. Yeah. I'm loving it. Learning something new all the time. So it's good. So hopefully you have um, noticed her Facebook presence. She has some beautiful graphics that she's been working on getting out. Thanks to Heather. <laughs> <laughs> They're so pretty. I love it. I love yeah. seeing them um, and seeing you be successful and doing it. Too. Yeah. Like, well, and they're, they're different. It's just, they pop up differently. They're so bright and cut, so nice cool. to see compared to the other things that come onto my feed. So yeah, it's I like to see you. Thank you so much. (laughs) That's fantastic. It's all about flowers. That's that's my, you know, yeah. Yeah. That is me. Especially this time of year. Yeah. It's It's needed. Flowers. Needed. Yeah. They're coming. They're coming. Someday (laughs) we'll get flowers. (laughs) And one of the fun facts about Joan is, you know, not only does she just love flowers, but she's an avid gardener and has gone through the Master Gardener's course. Mm -hmm. Which is super fun, yeah. but yeah. coaching is her jam. I've yes. known Joan for many years now. Yeah. It's been a while. At least 10. Yeah. Since yeah. like 2011 is when I started. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a while. Um, I, Joan and I went to college together and you know, us being the older students, yes. right? Um, You're non-trad. I was non-non-trad. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So um, we we connected there and I watched her blossom into this wonderful coach, which is something she was doing all along the way, because when we were in college, she was coaching Mm -hmm. fellow students, staff members and things like that, because I mean, it was my mom hat. It was that Mark Jackson said I should not ever take off. Because wow. I, when I interview, you know, going in as a non non trad, so older older person trying mm-hmm. to finish your degree, really nervous about, you know, how it would work, writing how papers, that sort of thing. Yeah, like the and then also, you know, and... I am a mom. It's it's what I do. It's what I, you know, I exude that. Right. Uh, for good or bad. And caring yeah. and caring. And so I was, you know, saying just made some comment about taking my mom hat off while I'm a student, and he said, "Oh, please do not." Because everybody needs needs to have a mom presence, whether they know it or not. Mm-hmm. So yeah, oh, it's always lovely. been that supportive coaching. You know, trying not to give advice. I don't like to. I've never liked right. to do that. So. Well, it's the same thing we do with our own children. Mm-hmm. Is we try to give them enough information mm-hmm. for them mm-hmm. to kind of figure it out yeah. on their own. And yep. And um, I am in the throes of that right mm-hmm. now. With, uh, <laughs> And my daughter just turned 18 she's getting ready to go off to college or, you know, start her life. And, um, that it's a really interesting place to be as a parent. Cause yeah. it's like, okay, I've molded you. Yeah. I've taught you everything I can. Yeah. It's up to you now. Yeah. You know, it's that like, kick them out of the nest mm-hmm. and let them fly. watching her see how she has a community that she can actually talk to and, yeah. and mm-hmm. helping watching you and her interact mm-hmm. and her finding her voice. And yeah. it's really cool. Cause the mom really, job is I never done, job. but it does change. 
Right. So yeah. 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 It definitely does change. I and actually, our children pretend to be adults. <laughs> and then when they're in like mid twenties, they call you and tell you thank you because they finally yeah. get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like how difficult they yeah. were. Right. <laughs> it does come back around. It does, you know, they they stop disliking everything about you and they kind of like to be around you. So it's it's nice. So one of the really fun things about your job and one of the things that you love the most is that you learn something from mm-hmm. your um coaches yeah all the time every yes. time you talk to them yes and how has that inspired you it's it's just because going into a coaching session I don't know what's going to happen mm-hmm. my first question is what do you want to talk about and so it comes from the client mm-hmm. and I never know what that's going to be we set goals we have six month goals but mm-hmm. usually there's something more pertinent right now that's going on that we need to talk about. So I never know what's going to happen right. in that realm. Mm-hmm. And then they always, there is something, either a really cool statement that they live by or um, just their, the way that they handle things mm-hmm. is just, I had a client um, this week that it's the simplest thing, a star chart, you wouldn't think that an adult would need, you know, we do that for our little kids. Mm-hmm. She was just ecstatic how well that was working. She mm-hmm. said something so simple. And it's like, oh, well, there you go. So now I have another, you know, possible suggestion or knowing that that works. And mm-hmm. it's just, to, but to see it's also the other exciting thing that for yourself, like make a star turn. Yeah. Like, and she I love that. <laughs> and like, she started so trying cool. to find stickers, but didn't find the one she wanted. So she's just making stars. But the preschool teacher in me loves that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like, I, I like getting awards. Exactly. I got a sticker. She said it's just that simple, <laughs> you know, she figured she was too smart for that, but no. Did you know works. they make adult sticker books? Oh, I can imagine. So you can get them <laughs> on Amazon. And so I, I really love this. And you can get like big bunches of stickers mm-hmm. for fairly inexpensive. Yeah. And then like every week you get like, I've used them for like making phone calls when oh. I've had to make a phone call. Like every phone call, I get a little tiny, little tiny circle yep. sticker yep. on this page just to help, you know, <laughs> me track it and be accountable to yeah. myself. Like mm-hmm. you can use stickers in so many different ways. And then ways. you get a big sticker when you have 10 exactly. little stickers. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just like how can you make it fun for yourself yeah like, but but seeing her reaction to it was so because i i am just a body language mm-hmm. geek. i love body language and just seeing the affect change mm-hmm. you know of how surprised she was by it but how much she loves and it's actually motivating and and it's like oh it's just that gives me then i get the goose pimples when you're you know see somebody just get so excited or or the emotion comes over you know Mm -hmm. and you're like wow this is big Mm -hmm. so yeah it's we've had some moments like that Uh (laughs) Uh I think I've ended one of our sessions sitting on the floor like just crying and letting it just flow out like Mm -hmm. okay so we're ready for a new chapter and every Mm -hmm. step after that has been so rewarding Mm -hmm. like and I, I feel so bad celebrating when somebody you know, dissolves into tears, but you know that you got to it's a, a really important kind of place. Tears, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. it's like saying, oh, you're like, it's like um when you are learning to be uncomfortable and you say to your friends, I'm really uncomfortable. I'm so happy I am. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. Like, that doesn't feel good. Like, yeah. normally, like that, that conversation seems so weird to mm-hmm. say, but it is true. Like, as you're going through changes and mm-hmm. deciding to grow, I just got a full wave of goosebumps yep. Thank you. when you're starting to grow and yeah. you are uncomfortable that's showing yourself yeah. that you're doing it and then when life gets super hard for you again mm-hmm. those obstacles again that's like you're butting all those heads again has your mindset shifted mm-hmm. these are the questions I ask myself yeah. did we shift our mindset where do we need to improve our mm-hmm. mindset so we don't keep running into this yeah. as an issue because you you've grown through the last things so you're yeah. going to grow through this one too it's you have, so you fun. have you have a track record. You know you can do it. And when we get stuck, stuck, Joan asks us the right question. Like we don't even know it's yes. the thing that was out of stuck. Like I, I feel so left field sometimes. Like why is that stopping me from doing this? I don't know, but it can work. <laughs> like, okay, I do, and that's where I'm. And then I see like the face. I'm just like, oh, nailed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It absolutely. Feels, it feels so good. Yeah. So Joan's been coaching us for six months now. 
Yeah. So we've been working I think we're together. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, without her help and assistance and helping us take a new perspective, aka new view. Uh, 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 right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> and we That's have a had name. epiphany after epiphany. Nice. And we have grown. Sometimes you start the rats. ball rolling, and then mm-hmm. it, over the next few days, we ask each other all these crazy questions yep. and brings even more like yep. it spirals. Like, mm-hmm. and then it we'll see it align with where we're at and what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Like, it just is. Like, and people, you know, they question how can one hour do anything but it's not that one hour it mm-hmm. like you said it starts and you ruminate you think about what you've said and what like the surprises yeah because mm-hmm. we always end the session with what were your highlights what what surprised you right and that really makes you start thinking as the days go by mm-hmm. and it's it, you do the work after the session really yeah oh absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. that's where the real work begins because yeah. you know i like, could just okay now i know the next shed right the book step. on it but yeah. that's not i'm really excited to take the next right step like yeah. just get it over a lot of times yeah. we we'll do it in the next 15 minutes whatever that hard thing yes. was we just do it because yeah. that's how we are we're like well if you're so fine, you'll send a little put, guess what? Just, we did it <laughs> we did the thing that was hard right yeah. like mm-hmm. yeah. absolutely supporting yeah. each other empowering each and other and it's usually not as hard once you do it and especially once you kind of unpack why have I been hesitating? It usually what has, has like you said, what has stopped like, me? Yeah. What is something going on within me yeah. that I'm not feeling worthy or yeah. um what fear is coming up? And that like, has been huge. Yeah. I've got male and female, young, old. Every single person has a form of I'm not enough. Mm. And it just that really has made that's been a surprise to me that mm-hmm. everybody has that somewhere. I and that's what sticking is in I was, was really listening sad. to a, a podcast the other day and they were talking about how we're kind of all one. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's a strange concept. But when you think about it, if we're all having experiences, and even though my experience is different than your experiences, we all experience the same emotions mm-hmm. and how that affects yeah. our bodies. Yeah. And I was that's like, why there's certain words that we wow. use and we all know what that means to be angry or to be yeah with, just, with variation. I mean, right. But yeah. 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 But then you can ask those detailed, pull that question. Well, yeah. you're angry. Well, what does that really yeah. mean to you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sad and I am pissed off uh-huh. and I'm, you know, like, what is Where anger do you masking? Think that comes like, from? Yeah. You always ask those great questions yeah. and follow up questions like you're super good at. Yeah. And I have found as, as I get, you know, my experience and I get further, it's, I've only had to say one word a couple of times. That's like, that's it. You pick that word because part of the joy is when you're coaching Mm-hmm. And you're answering my questions. It's not a script. Right. So you don't know what something's going to come out that you didn't expect to come out. Right. And if I hear a repeated thought or, you know, like guilt is a big one, mm-hmm. comes out a lot, you know, or lazy or, or shame. Yeah. And I just, mm-hmm. just reflect that back, back and it just, yeah. you know, how that hits. She's, yeah. You'll be like, so you said this mm-hmm. a few times. Tell me more about that. Yeah. You'll be like, Oh, oh crap. Did I say that? Well, okay. <laughs> Going back, let me see. But it's just, it really makes us think mm-hmm. uh, about how we feel about every step of the process moving forward, mm-hmm. which I think is really important um, to what we're doing. But it's so also yeah, important we show up to us day. as. <laughs> Um, as women and as, as business people, because if we are not showing up for ourselves every day, Mm -hmm. we cannot show up for the people that we serve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so by, um, the, the coaching helps us be able to see that within ourselves Mm -hmm. and reflect, uh, back on that and, um, be able to figure figure out what the next step is i think it's helped us to communicate like where each of us are at too mm-hmm. sometimes because you know i'm all stuck in my head and you're like <laughs> why are you freaking out about that that's fine like and but i'm like really hard on myself about getting this deadline that is imaginary that i made up for myself like what well, and no, it's so like, fun coaching the two of you together because I can just sit back and you start coaching each other. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, right. yeah, the, the questions, and we just like, okay, keep going. I'm just writing notes. And just, you know, <laughs> we, do. <laughs> we do. We keep each other accountable. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, and we will. One really amazing piece about our relationship mm-hmm. is that 
we keep each other accountable, but I never feel like Charlie's like, you need to do this thing. Me, me, me. Like you're yeah. finally the person that can say these things to me in such a way that I'm receptive to. Mm-hmm. I'm just here to help you mm-hmm. be accountable to you. Mm-hmm. And that's the space we hold for each other, right. really. Right. And that's it's so it. reciprocal because <laughs> yeah. you have known each other long enough and work together mm-hmm. that you can ask those questions that she's like, oh, and say, you know, I'm back. It's like, are you, do you think it might be? And it's like, that's, that's what you hold for each other mm-hmm. is that knowledge of where you think that might be coming from. And mm-hmm. right. so, yeah, you really, and being sensitive to each other's um, needs and feelings mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and emotions. Cause we could tell when, when each other's off, yeah. like what's yeah. up with you today. And I, I, I may not even realize that I'm having like, uh, like a, a PTSD response yeah. because it's so mild to me. Mm-hmm. Like I've had a bad one and we worked through that. That's fine. But I don't even notice that I'm like just a little off or if I take a few minutes and ground mm-hmm. and we talk about whatever was coming up, then I'm easier to focus mm-hmm. and she can see the energy shift. Yeah. And I and love that. The same thing with me the other day. You're like, Trudy, you're like, not okay. Like you're spazzing out. <laughs> I was like going in circles. I couldn't focus. I was really having a struggle. And yeah. so we talked about it and we were able to figure out where that was coming from. Cause it had nothing to do with whatever it was I was trying to do. Right. Or focus. Well, on it's been that heavily emotional yourself. time yeah. with kids growing. It's, you know, yeah. you know, after this, then both of our boys have birthdays and then this, you know, we're, you know, we're starting to get into the, mm-hmm. the summertime. And I know when my yeah. stress level goes up because I'm like, what's summer stress going to be with a kid at home? No yeah. school. Like, right. what, you know, like and I have one graduating study. and the other one's moving into high school oh. next year. And it's, it's a lot like to just that piece yeah. of it and yeah. run a business and run your home yep. and keep up yeah. and you know and then it's the littlest weirdest thing mm-hmm. that you had no idea is what sets you like over the edge oh it's yeah. always that it's like what the chair that's what pulled did. out from the table yep heaven forbid <laughs> like, oh. why was it pulled out <laughs> or you stub your toe or you yeah. you're just like and it all comes out mm-hmm. right yes yeah. it's joyous joyous times. well you know and then there's times like this morning I walk out of my room to go um make a pot of coffee and get ready for work and the dishes mm-hmm. and things that were supposed to be done last night before the kids got home uh, or before I got home and before the kids went to bed were still all over the kitchen like mm-hmm. and one of the kids swept the floor, but they left the piles all over the floor. Like they <laughs> all over the house. <laughs> all over the house. And you know, it's just like one. So I walk out of my room this morning. Oh, I go over to the coffee pot. I take the coffee. I pour it in the cup. I put it back down. I look around and I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> and I leave my coffee cup and I I came out here to in into our studio space, which is you know also my shed to take some like breathing and meditation because I was like, I'm going to lose my mind. Mm-hmm. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm not okay with this. <laughs> I'll be okay with this. Parenting is so rough. <laughs> Just parenting. Like yeah. one piece of parenting. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like every little piece. And that's what, you know, so if you don't have someone that can help you. That's mm-hmm. the thing. It's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And just like, you know, knowing or figuring out why it takes so long to get to that point. Or what it is about the little piles, because maybe that's worse than having not swept at all. I mean, it just, you just it is worse than not having swept at all. I would rather have like dog hair and either just leave it or finish the job, right? Just do it. Yeah. Somebody yeah. ran out of spoons, I'm pretty Somebody sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were done. It's <laughs> just, you're done. But it's, it's, you know, trying to figure out if at all, you know, to go in your backstory to figure out why oh, is right. it that that bugs me so much. Mm-hmm. And why is that my tipping point? You know, I mean, and I think that has a lot to do with how I grew up, you know, and it was, you know, if you're going to do the job, you're going to do it right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And do it right the first time. Which is really hard Ooh. when you have autistic children. Ooh. Yes. And you, you have to yes. walk them through step by step. So okay. Much. You don't just sweep the floor. You also have to get the dustpan mm-hmm. and get the stuff up. And then put it in the garbage. You yeah. have to empty the dustpan into the garbage. You have to be very specific. Yeah. yeah. Push the lid and then it in right. garbage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how we've got to be specific. Well, yeah, and it, it is. is. It's very, very, very detail oriented. And, and, and the yeah. process. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which can also make 
And then we swirl. Like I know that when I was cleaning the other weekend, I was sorting clothes and then I was sorting socks for sock monsters. And then <laughs> all the yarn was out. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> Oh, I did. I was like, okay, we need to take a press. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, we needed to get the sock yep. monsters together for a reason. Mm -hmm. We needed to, you know, like just getting things in one container. And that's, you know, you know that's like my but, adult daughter, 31, mm -hmm. has just in the last well, five years probably, you know, has realized that she has ADHD and some anxiety. And it's like, oh, it just makes so much sense. But it was never to a point that couldn't just be worked in, in you know yeah right like, that line like, yeah she she really had good here, skills yeah. yeah you know well, that's you were her mom yeah so but you're probably like in general we had, we had i'm sure mom. she's still your daughter i mean you're probably <laughs> I'm sure. sure i mean because it is yeah. it's that scattered it's that you just can't organize anything yeah and not realizing that that was actually pointing toward something you know because right 30 years ago it was the little boys who were naughty in class right were the ones that got the focus of gosh maybe there's something here well it took a while anyways it's yeah you know been forever but, but, but a little did. girl that does pretty good school work and is pretty organized even though her desk is like erupting you know which right. isn't but it wasn't enough to to warrant needing to, to really look into it and go this might or... be something she needs help with mm. You know, so yeah, it was, it's so yeah, nice that she has figured that out and she's now a teacher and so she can figure it out with other people. Oh, how cool little bodies. That. Yeah, she's We've been in the talking a lot right place. about like yeah. as we're parenting right now, um, just like you learn so much about yourself mm -hmm. and about how hard mm -hmm. things were for you <laughs> yep. and how there's so many more terms and available to us yeah. and um, healing that lack of parenting we had around some of these yeah. things yeah. and so I know a couple of moms that are working really hard with their five six seven year olds mm -hmm. like we got to do this together because yeah. I don't know how either how do you, like, you yeah. know like just like trying yeah. so hard like yeah. you know and trying to really I, I struggle with, you know, to have empathy for your parent that did the best they could. Right. I mean, that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there really wasn't care taken and, you know, but in general, they did the best they could with the knowledge they had. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And yes, you got and left you with holes, but it's not really their fault. You know, I mean, it's like move to, forward. And just to, move forward. to general, to go back and just even think about that, like, how was it for my parents? Mm -hmm as a kid now how was it for my parents right. parent? like what were they living right. in what kind of environment what yeah. did they know at the time yeah mm -hmm. like people didn't know things there wasn't right. these conversations right. mm -hmm. so i love that we have that opportunity mm -hmm. and that we're creating a culture where we are taking mm -hmm. that time now we can heal we can be emotionally knowledgeable mm -hmm. and have that and it's, it's okay now to say i love you to your kids mm -hmm. and to hug them just mm -hmm. putting food on the table isn't Enough. isn't enough right you know because like my dad that was his form of love is we had a house we had food what more do you expect right. you know and that was that was where the emotion well there was no emotion but anyways, that's right, right. but right. that's that was that day that was, that was what he learned to be dad yeah that's right. how you did dad so, right yeah that was the example of mm -hmm. dad right yeah like, and that's that's all we knew like so how does that feel like yeah. to think you know that's like how you process that right yeah. like it's just like yeah. how does that make you feel how do you yeah. like the way this reacted and to know that it's a growth process mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so we're gonna have those days where we go momzilla and yeah. we just can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then to step back and be like, okay, so we're going to implement some new systems yeah. so mom doesn't lose her Evan mind yes. again yeah. for a while. Okay. For a little bit. Yeah, and it's, like, it's yeah. all about moving forward. Yeah. That's, and that's the, the joy about coaching, too, is sometimes we touch on past things. We're not going to fix past things. That's a somebody else's job, like right, a therapist. Right. Mm -hmm. Coaching is about moving forward. Right. So, you know, sometimes, again, you do have to think about or why. How did the past affect what's going on? But, you know, talk about and figure out ways to move forward through that. So, 
And our um, sutra topic this week is wow. ethical practices. So, so this is all incorporated with, mm -hmm. you know, personal, your personal, personal ethics. Development. So your are personal you showing ethics. up every day as the person you want to be? Mm -hmm. Are you feeling stuck? Like, are you not like, I mean, like, this isn't quite like if you're like okay how do I or how do I describe it I kind of feel like like that record player feeling like when it goes backwards you're like <laughs> if it's feeling like every day like maybe you're stuck <laughs> like right. it doesn't have mm -hmm. to feel that way like I didn't know that or for the longest like you keep time running into stop signs oh, yeah. right. see I didn't know that life could not have stop signs well, like and I had a know, job at one point that you know retail and you have to be nice mm -hmm. and it's not like I'm not I'm a very nice person Mm -hmm. but it really felt so fake after a while and it's just like yeah and you're just you? place. yeah and you're like Ooh. Yeah. so it was that you know when you look yeah. at yourself and just go I can't say that one more time it just isn't me yeah I don't mm -hmm. feel right and yeah you need to listen to that my sister uh, got called out huge. by my nephew for using her customer service oh, no. voice on the phone <laughs> So she got funny. off the phone and then he's like, Mom, why do you talk like that on the phone? She's like, because I'm working. She's like, and he's like, Well, you never talk like that normally. Well, and it's seeing that you it needs that person that's outside observing right mm -hmm. and can pick up things like that that you didn't realize you were doing. Kids, they tell our words come back mm -hmm. all the time <laughs> yeah so when, you're to growing, world, right? yeah. when you're growing be careful to what books you're listening to around your children <laughs> so um with my kiddo we were listening to i was listening to the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss. It's a really good book. It's really about like ha honing in on your time management mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. focusing on tasks you like to do. Really good book. But what he got out of it was I can get my work done in less time. So I get to play more video games. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is come back to me yes. time and time again. <laughs> At least you know he was listening. Uh, he was totally listening. I thought he was playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> like his long drives at the time yeah. we were we had long drives and yeah. so i i love to listen to an audiobook oh, while i drive yep. like, mm -hmm. so i'd get really into a book and so yeah. now i i'm a little more careful but the five second rule too that was a good one with him in the car that really he still uses the five four three two one oh two to get up and go do stuff because okay. that's the whole thing about it is like you you have five seconds to have a thought and take action before you overpower your thought oh. and she goes into all the science behind it right because mel robbins does that she'll do the research on her stuff um her high five habit book too is really oh, cool okay. but um so if five four three two one and then you take action you move so it's like a rocket ship like you rocket okay. ship yourself up boom yeah and um so that's kind of like a you know we've used that to help him yeah and he still i'll hear him like he doesn't want to get up he'll be like five four three two one i'm like whoo nice wow that's so nice. cool yeah. so you know yeah just be cool. aware of what you're listening to mm -hmm. like more is hearing it taught too. than taught oh, more is right. hot than taught yeah and i was having a, a conversation with um my oldest um the other day and she's like mom you have taught me so much about money. I was like, but I've never even once sat down and oh. <laughs> and like actually walked you how we do through how we do our bills. I've walked her through her, I've own helped things. her build her own budget yeah. and things like that. But um, you know, really leading by example mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. She's like, Mom, I've learned so much. I, I like, learned so much from watching oh, that yeah. like especially with that, because that is like a struggle area of mine. It's definitely something that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. Um, coming from homelessness and like, you know, building my way out of poverty. Yeah. And watching you is so inspiring because I'm like, okay, it's just a routine. Like it doesn't have to be this huge thing. Mm -hmm. Like, because you got the money energy and all of that, you gotta work mm -hmm. through like just watching you do it is very inspiring as another woman too yeah. like because uh, you do you just like this is what I'm doing boom yeah. boom boom bam yeah. done I'm like how'd you do that <laughs> she just like went to three banks um I would be having a heart attack yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she talked to three towers <laughs> like, what? well I have learned a trick share banking I can go to one bank <laughs> to deal with my accounts for like all three of our banks that's so rad. shared banking is oh. rad oh that's um, cool i didn't even know that no. and i go with her 
know. I hide in the car. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So this week's quote is from Albert Einstein. The most important human endeavor is the striving for morality in our actions, our inner balance, and even our very existence depend on it. Only morality in our actions can give beauty and dignity to life. Isn't that what it's all about? I think that the, that's that piece too that is so upsetting. Like I think mm-hmm. that when I get down to like who I am and what really upsets me is about those things that I feel are immoral. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. and so I feel like those are those core things that I are important to mm-hmm. me, like not being a victim. That mm-hmm. one's a huge trigger for me if someone's playing a victim. Yeah. That will really upset me. Like, mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just surprised. I keep thinking that Albert Einstein, you know, I didn't think he was into that part of life. And, oh, he's got some really, he's really good. good beauty. It's like, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. His, the way his brain and everything worked was just amazing. He yeah. was, I'll need to look him up. The, um, he was the, um, I don't know, uh, who's that science guy that's in the military? What's his name? Stephen Hawking of his yeah. day. Mm-hmm. He was the Stephen Hawking. He of was his day. he he they believe that he had Asperger's. Oh my um, God. classic Asperger's for um, <laughs> 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 and um so I've always studied him because my son having Asperger's yep. being that diagnosed. So I'll always follow his quotes and inspiration. I always find inspiration and yeah, like if he could be that successful, like how successful can my son be? Like yeah. holding that space, yeah. like anything is still possible yeah. no matter how hard it is. Exactly. Like, mm-hmm. So just one day at a time. And one sometimes it's, it's the cultural norms that are out there is the struggle. Right. Because if there weren't so many. That's really big with teenagers right now. Right. Like they expect the struggle, but we're all like empowered parents. And we're like, we don't care. Like you don't need to rebel against us. You're kind of rebelling against yourself right now. Have fun with that. (laughs) You can just be who you are without people going, oh, that's wrong or that's Mm -hmm. bad or that, you know, it's like, it just is. Yeah. I think people would really not have as much struggle in a lot of things. And I think, and I think too, culturally, there's like, we've taught them that Mm -hmm. there's this struggle Mm -hmm. and we're trying to unteach that now, like undo that. I got that, that Tupperware ball for little kids that has little, oh, yes. little things in it. Like take the little things out and we're going to re put them together. Oh, like, that right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw it on one of the shades. Shape, so, but yeah. Yeah. Like I've, I had that in the kid. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. like, everyone's got to have that. Yeah. Tupperware sells it. I have a friend. If you don't have Tupperware now, <laughs> <laughs> she had it on her thing. So it must be no, in my head. I forgot but, about that cool toy. Yeah. 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 So like, kind of like taking that pull, pulling it apart and like, like letting all that stuff fall out mm-hmm. one of those things we want to fall out is that it has to be a struggle yeah mm-hmm. you get to be you and that's and that's you know my daughter's third graders it's like everything has to be negative you're cool if you're talking you know smack about it's like oh, no. can't you just why can't we be high third grade oh, oh, no. that's a whole nother talk about how much is we happening have to teach my in eight just, at eight years old like we're having to yeah. culturally teach mindset yeah. yeah i wonder if that's yeah. a lot where that feeling of not being yeah. enough comes oh from. absolutely is that yeah those young impressions like i i know that's where it comes from for me yeah. but it's those young impressions Mm-hmm. You know, somebody told me I wasn't good mm-hmm. enough at something or with something or whatever I heard, I am not enough. Yeah. And that, and that goes back to even not saying it, it's mm-hmm. the actions it's that, true. that they That's caught true. that they were not good An enough. An emotion, mm-hmm. like yeah. the emotion. Somehow they were the treated situation. or yeah. lessened somehow. And, and her kiddos have, I mean, everybody's a lot of trauma. She's got some, it's a high risk group right so they they come with a lot of baggage anyway but it's just amazing that that at eight years old that they can have these huge thoughts mm-hmm. and negative 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 it's just really yes. yeah it's a it's a it's a struggle it's a wow. hard job yeah 
Wow. So even more like hug your teachers. Yes. <laughs> hug your yeah. Hug your teachers. Yes. Yes. Send them chocolate. And take a step back and pay attention to how you interact with your own kids. Yeah. It has been a lesson for me to interact with my own kids in a much different way as what how I was interacted mm-hmm. with as a, mm-hmm. as a child. Mm-hmm. And I hope that serves to benefit them in a way that and there's so much power in making that decision to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you can be committed to investigating why you're reacting to a situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. Like that's some, something I do sometimes is like, but just don't go overboard and do no boundary. You know, we right. all need boundaries. We boundaries, need boundaries are okay. super duper important. <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. We need to say no <laughs> occasionally. No is an okay word. You can say no to say yes, yes all the time. Right. Right. You don't have to say yes all the time. I don't know who needs to hear that, but somebody does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's it's okay to say no. <laughs> probably yes. <laughs> With love, yeah. If it comes from love, right? It's okay, you know. Mm-hmm. That's if uh, check yourself if that's where it's coming from. Right. That might be hard. It may not be well received, but it's okay. And love for yourself. Yeah. Like it's okay to say no and not explain why. Mm-hmm. No, is, just get to no, say is, no. A whole, uh, is a complete sentence. Yes. Oh, I like that. Uh-huh. No is yes. a complete get it? sentence. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. 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 Can yes. be too. I suppose. But <laughs> it is often, right? Yeah. Like that's a go-to, like maybe, you know, until you break the habit, it's a go-to no yeah. or a, a hard maybe. Let me check with that. <laughs> but, but, but check in with that. But, but no by itself, you know, it doesn't yeah. have to be no, but, or no. No, with an explanation. It's no. Like, no, it's just no. You are valid. No. Yeah. You are valid. You are valid. It's <laughs> <laughs> important. All right. Somebody needed to hear that yes. today. Absolutely. Maybe me. <laughs> Maybe you. There you go. <laughs> so, up and coming events, we definitely um, are super excited to be mm-hmm. hit in mid spring and all the festivals and mm-hmm. stuff are coming up. Mother's Day is around the corner. Yeah. So, great time to get out in. Um, um, I think by the 1st of May, um, most of the farmer's markets in our area will be open. Mm-hmm. So check your schedules. Where farmer's have, markets, street fairs, things like that. Our community calendar will have some of that information on it. So you'll be able to find that on our website, women in leadership, bsmb.com. Check us out. Find the latest episode right at the bottom of the first page. And along with that, go find yourself some dog-inspired events or outings and um, find yourself a boogie bin. Uh, So boogie bin is our cause of the quarter this quarter. They have bins in uh, shops all over. Boogie is a dog's name. So we're not talking about dancing. We're talking about (laughs) doggos. Doggos. So a sweet doggo called Boogie has Uh inspired these bins um, to collect for... um, dogs that are in need yeah so So gently used dog beds blankets toys harnesses leashes all animals yeah and cat stuff too cats birds lizards you know like if you have stuff like you know left over hanging out or you tried and it didn't work out and or you know so it doesn't fit it doesn't fit they grew out of it now what do i do with it like this is a great place to to take those things yeah absolutely. and they make sure they get used absolutely and they have uh, donated to numerous um shelters and, and services around the world yeah so it's really cool it is really cool so um all of their information will be in our description down below in the links below <laughs> as well as all the contact information for our wonderful guest joan Yay. joan thank you so much for thank joining you. us again today it's so fun to talk to you guys i know in a non-coachy <laughs> way i get to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um thank you so much for joining us thank we're blessed you. Yes. to have you as part of our community and having a seat for you at the table mm-hmm. Right back at you. (laughs) Thank you so much to our audience for listening and enjoying our podcast today. Please come back and enjoy, join the conversation. We are so blessed to have each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Namaste. Namaste.